I guess I'm running from something. People have different addictions and, and I have the bike. When I'm not cycling, I'm sitting still. And that sort of is the scary part of me. It's been since before pandemic that I wanted to do these amazing times out in the outdoors and it's just about to get out there and explore it. I definitely chose a very hard route and a lot of uphill. I thought it was a big challenge and I thought if I keep doing uphill maybe one day I enjoy uphill and I actually hate uphill. <laughs> Good morning, day one of the trip. Today, the reality comes to reality. We are uh, in La Paz, gonna do around 45 to 50 kilometers. It's actually fresh in the shadow and really nice in the sun, probably burning sun. It feels like a happiness, but everybody's like serious. It's just like I can't stop looking, there's so many colors and so many things to see around. and. Yeah, I don't know, it's it's very interesting. I just want to know everything about this coach. Navigation. Yeah, it's good. Good to go. Starting kicking me off the altitude. <laughs> I love exploring. Yeah, I just love it. I think like the more I do, the more I want. It's gonna be interesting journey i've never been above 4000 probably no, not even 3200 i think and i am at three i can't talk no i need to breathe mamma mia this is mind blowing I don't think it's a journey of achievement. I think it's a journey of discover and it's just uh, an everyday's reach and ride. You just see the things differently from a bike than from a car or anywhere. You discover the world through your own power and that's very nice. I don't know, I think it's the way you see the things that you just shoot them differently. I think the bike and the photography just go together pretty well. It's something that I got hooked up a few years ago. And first I had photography and then I had cycling, but I didn't merge them together until like long ago. And now it's just like, it's hard for me to get out without a camera. We bumped into some girls here in Bolivia. They were stoked to try the bikes, so it's just very nice to see how motivated they are to something that is maybe new for them. You always think about how lucky you are to have what you have and discover the world and the infinite. I live in another kind of world and these kids don't see this often. I was raised with this. I mean, that's why I also ride in the places I ride. It's just like pretty, absolutely fantastic. <laughs> I think the bike is a really attractive way to approach people. You just suddenly appear somewhere in the middle of nowhere. You arrive to that place and they're like, oh, where do you come from? It's like an interaction that it gives you a conversation, you know? It's sports in general. It doesn't need to be cycling. I think it's just getting out of your door and just stepping into the unknown that basically makes you be a better person, you know? I always say that I'm a life explorer because I just not explore through the sports, but also explore myself. Ah, 
Holy moly. It's like you take 20% of your air and not 100. Now I cannot even swallow, laugh and take air at the same time. <laughs> I lost my taste and now did it too. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I think I take everything, it's a learning. Sometimes you learn, sometimes you don't learn and you repeat them until you really learn them in a hard way. And uh, they say everything that goes up goes down and everything that goes down can go up. <laughs> so you just have to cope with it. Oh, f this is not the end. I have cramps in my belly. I think because I didn't want to do it. Very cold. How many kilometers did you do? Only 47. Oh. I am cooked. <laughs> what are you expecting for today? Just reaching this like famous death road. Narrow gravel path with a big cliff down. It's called death road because of something. <laughs> I guess it's not a good sign, but it's gonna be okay. Cycling is sort of an addiction that you basically use to escape those bad moments. So I think cycling obviously helped me through all the hard times. You have to concentrate on the road and not die on the death road. <laughs> I've been chasing the dogs are hard. He's beating. I don't know how far the danger is. I definitely know that I don't want to get raped this morning. Fuck this fall. Well, it didn't broke. It just got undone and uh, nearly made me crash. Feeling good today. Now I think I'm going slightly down, but we're not road, so I'm not sure. I think we're gonna go down probably from now on. Belly's cramping, and I'm freezing cold. Definitely sunburn, and I think I got a massive insulation. The legs feel like if you've done 200 k's at 30 kilometers an hour, and instead you're doing like 40 k's. It's definitely the last day. Bolivia was the hardest ever, <laughs> but it's fine. It's part of the game. I just think I want bring moment to show them exactly what I feel like there's amazing times out in the outdoors. I think definitely I learned on this trip that time is gold. I really want to just start thinking about myself and stop thinking about others first and try to chill and take time and plan things properly and enjoy them also properly. It doesn't really matter what you wear or who you are or where you are or 
what thing you're doing, you know, what kind of sports you're doing. I think it's just about to get out there and explore it.